Welcome to the Whole Food Plant-Based Cooking Show, where we make plant-based cooking easy. I'm Jill, and today we are going to make twice-baked chili cheese potatoes. Grab a plate, because it's the all-free Whole Food Plant-Based Cooking Show. Welcome back to the show, everybody. We've got a great recipe for you today that you are just going to love. Twice-baked chili cheese potatoes. So I've already got my potatoes prepped. I just poked holes in them and stuck them in the air fryer on 400 degrees for 40 minutes. So while those are cooking, we're gonna get our chili going. So I already have my pan is heated here, medium high, and this is one small onion that I've diced pretty fine that we're gonna get cooking. And just like I always tell you, there's no oil in this pan. It is not necessary. If, they, if those onions start sticking a little bit, you can always just use a little of your vegetable broth or even just a little bit of water to keep them from sticking. And that will be great. So I'm gonna let these caramelize a little bit and then we'll add the rest of our ingredients. Okay, now that our onions are done, we're gonna add the rest of our ingredients here. I have uh, one clove of garlic diced real or minced then i have a half teaspoon of oregano and if you want the full printable recipe we'll give you a link in the details below that's a half teaspoon of cumin a half teaspoon of paprika a half teaspoon of smoked paprika that's just going to give it a little bit more of that nice smoky flavor two tablespoons of chopped green chilies I just got the green chilies that were just canned green chilies, uh, but you can use fresh or you could use even jalapenos if you like. Then we've got three tablespoons of tomato paste, one can of black beans that I've already rinsed and drained, and one cup of low sodium vegetable broth. Okay, we're just gonna get this all stirred together and we're gonna cook this down until all of that liquid is absorbed and it's kind of a thicker chili. You don't want a runny chili because then it, you know, it will run all over your potato. You kind of want it to be more like when you scoop it out, it kind of stays in its own glob. So we're just gonna let this cook put a little bit of pepper in there too because I just love pepper and we're just gonna let this cook for probably about 10 minutes and like I said until all of that lip liquid is absorbed oops and I forgot my other two ingredients here <laughs> so we've got one tablespoon of balsamic vinegar and that's just gonna give it a little bit of a bite kind of a barbecue -y flavor and then two teaspoons of Bragg's liquid aminos. And if you don't have Bragg, Bragg's liquid aminos, you can always use tamari sauce or low sodium soy sauce or even coconut aminos if you have an allergy. Okay, let's let that cook for a bit and I'll clear this out and we'll get our ingredients for our delicious cheese sauce. Okay, so our chili is done. And it took a, you know, the full 10 minutes to really get all of that moisture cooked out. So now that our chili's ready, I've got our potatoes are out of the air fryer. So now we're going to go on to making our cheese sauce. So today's episode is sponsored by Nutrilicious Nutritional Yeast. And I'm going to tell you a little bit about them. Nutritional yeast is an essential ingredient found in every modern day plant-based kitchen that actually dates back to the ancient Egyptian times. Nutrilicious nutritional yeast is a powerful superfood that is gluten-free, low in sodium, non-GMO, and 100% vegan. Nutrilicious is high in dietary fiber, pound for pound has more protein than beef, and is full of the cheesy flavor we crave. As a very special deal for our viewers, click the link in the card or in the description to save up to 55% off of your order. Okay, so on to this delicious nacho cheese sauce. So we've already made this on the show before, if you've already seen this uh, on its own show. So this is a half cup of raw cashews. 
an eighth of a cup of raisins. That's just going to give it a hint of sweetness. If you don't have raisins, you can just toss one date in there. That should be plenty. And the star ingredient is that Nutrilicious Nutritional Yeast. It is so delicious and really, to complete this cheese sauce, you really need the Nutritional Yeast. So this is two tablespoons of Nutritional Yeast, one teaspoon of smoked paprika, a half teaspoon of onion powder, Let's see, two or one teaspoon of Bragg's liquid aminos, or you could use low sodium soy sauce or tamari. And then we have one tablespoon of white wine vinegar and a half a cup of water. And we're just gonna use our Nutribullet here. You could use a magic bullet. Um, because it's kind of a small amount, it might be a little bit difficult in a larger blender. So hopefully you have a smaller size blender to make this delicious cheese sauce. If not, you can always use your big blender and make a double batch. Because once you try this stuff, you're going to want to put it on more than just your potatoes. While we're waiting for that, I'd like to share with you some background on our show. The Whole Food Plant-Based Cooking Show is crowdfunded which means these free weekly recipe videos, along with our entire catalog of recipes on our website, plantbasedcookingshow.com, and our new Plant-Based Cooking Made Easy cookbook are all made possible in part by the generous patronage of our supporting members. By becoming a supporting member, you gain access to great member perks like monthly product giveaways, free downloads of our eBooks, and access to our in-depth courses including our 28 Days Plant-Based Made Easy course, where we offer a step-by-step -step guide to making the switch to a fully plant-based diet. We create this show for the hundreds of thousands of viewers just like you who tune in each month from all over the world to make it easy for everyone to live a plant-based lifestyle. So if you love our content, please join us on our mission and become a supporting member today by following the link in the description. Okay, let's get back to the show. Okay, Oof. there we are. That looks amazing. And if you notice, it looks a little bit runny right now, but as it sits, because uh, the cashews weren't soaked, as it sits, those cashews are gonna bulk up and it's gonna make the sauce thicker. So we're gonna set that aside while we prep these potatoes. So I'm just gonna cut these in half lengthwise that. And then, oops, I gotta grab a spoon. We're gonna scoop the middles out and we're gonna just put that into our chili here and we're gonna mix that together. So you don't wanna waste that potato, right? But you don't wanna scoop out all of the potato. Just scoop out most of the middle I'm going to leave a bit in there so it's still a nice strong potato and so that when you pull it out of the air fryer, it doesn't just fall apart. Oops. Okay. Let's just scoop out the rest of that. Boy, these potatoes, you guys are just going to love these. And if you've seen this method before, I already did one show. Uh, I made samosa flavored potatoes. So you have to check out that show. And if you want the printable version of this recipe that has all of the ingredients listed out and the recipe for the samosa potatoes, we'll give you a link in the details below. Okay, oops. Okay. One more. All right, so those, that potato you can kind of mash into, into your chili here. So I'm just gonna kind of break it up a little bit and stir it into the chili. And you'll probably have, you'll have plenty of this chili so that 
you know, you, you can fill these up and if you have a little leftover, you can always just pop this back, you know, in a container in the refrigerator and then you can make these again on another day. Or you can just eat it by itself. It's delicious too. And another tip, if you don't want to make this chili at this point, uh, I, I have two other chili recipes and maybe you've already made them and you have some leftover chili in your refrigerator and you could just use that. They'll both work just fine for this recipe. Okay, so now you're just gonna scoop some pretty, pretty generous helping there. Mound it up a bit. Okay, and you're gonna do that to the rest of these and then we're gonna stick these in the air fryer, back in the air fryer, same temperature, 400 degrees for 10 more minutes. Okay, our potatoes are done. Oh my gosh, they smell so good. Come in for a look. They are amazing. So, all that's left is a taste. So I'm gonna grab my cheese sauce and some chives and I'll meet you at the table for a taste. Okay guys, you know what time it is. Time for a taste. But not before I give a special thanks to Nutrilicious Nutritional Yeast for sponsoring this show. All right, let's go for it. Get this one right here. All right, I'm gonna put some of this delicious cheese sauce so you see how it's gotten a little bit thicker now. Oh man. See, I already know this tastes delicious because we have tested this many, many times, but. And then I've got some fresh chives here from my garden. Mm-hmm. All right, here we go. Here we go. Ooh, that's a big bite. Oh well. <laughs> Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Man, that is so satisfying. Mmm. With the cheese sauce, the chili is just perfect. And the, the skins from the potatoes have gotten kind of crispy. Mmm. I think my only addition would be a little bit of hot sauce on the top of that, but overall, mm, delicious. You are going to love it. So be sure to give this a like, and I'll see you next week for another great video.